it's very interesting that it's so controversial, the fact that it's, it's, it's not deterministic. Um, because throughout my life in medicine, I have never, I very rarely get a test back that is so deterministic. So, you know, even when I was pregnant and, and I get a variety of tests back and they say, okay, you're, this is cutting your risk down for having a Down syndrome baby, but it's never, it's never 100%, um, unless I did the amnio, which I did not do. So, you know, I've, I've, and even things like cholesterol, if I, if, if I find out I have high cholesterol, again, that's a risk base. It means that I have a risk factor for heart disease, but it, it didn't tell me anything specific. It doesn't, you know, some people even do very well with having high cholesterol. It doesn't say specifically you are going to die of, of heart disease. Um, so in my opinion, my, you know, I've been very comfortable with having diagnostic tests that, that tell me that I might be at higher risk or lower risk based on some, some information. So for the LERC2 example that my husband has, he already knew that he had a family history of Parkinson's disease, and now he knows that there is a genetic basis for it and that he carries that genetic basis for it. So, you know, again, he already knew that there was the family history. He has it there, and he has gone through a lot of the literature. One of the things that he's found is that it's not that well studied just yet because it was a relatively recent discovery, um, but there is information there about things you can do to prevent Parkinson's. So that could be changing your diet, exercising more, and potentially drinking coffee. Um, and those are all three things that he does. And, and again, going to the critics, all three of those things are great for his health regardless. So he has lost weight. He is much more vigilant about um, you know, eating vegetables. And he is trying to drink a little bit of coffee. So, so I'm, really, you know, I'm really happy that we got that information because even if it comes out later that, oh, he has other genes that um, you know, decrease his risk and therefore he's sort of at average risk for Parkinson's, you know, one, I'm used to getting that inf kind of information and that kind of change in, in healthcare. And two, I'm happy because he made a lifestyle change that fundamentally made him healthier.